What's up, YouTube? Happy New Year's. January 1st, 2016, today. All right, so I also want to thank all you subscribers, okay? I thank you from the bottom of my heart, man, straight up. I never even imagined this page growing like this, man. There's like 23,000 subscribers right now. Man, I never even thought about that, man. You know, I just wanted, I always wanted to teach people how to uh, work on cars, you know? I teach people in the neighborhoods, but I always wanted to show people on a bigger and higher level, you know what I'm saying? But uh, this is the platform that God has given me, so I do it on YouTube, and I'm doing it for you guys, man, straight up. Like, I love this stuff, man. This is a passion for me, and it took me struggle to get to this point. And I know some of you guys are struggling to get over the hump, okay? You're always going to have struggle and resistance, but it's how you deal with it, and it's the way you perceive it that's going to get you through it as to whether or not you're going to endure through it, all right? So, but from this channel to you guys, we thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts, man. Thank you for all the support and advice and everything you guys have done for us, all right? Hang in there, stick with me, and I'm going to show you how to smash, all right? What I want to do today is I want to show you how to get information, all right? I'm going to show you how I get information. As everybody knows, information is powerful. And today is the information age. I'm going to show you exactly how I get information for all these vehicles that I work on, okay? Because without information, you're going to be stuck. You're not going to know what to do. You're going to be slumped, okay? You're not going to be able to diagnose some of this stuff. So you need to know how to extract and how to get, obtain information, Without information, you're going to be lost. First of all, what I want to tell you is have a vision, all right, for 2016. Don't just go into the year without a plan. you got to have a plan of attack, all right? Without a plan, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail, okay? you got to keep that plan going, man, and you got to have confidence in yourself. The Bible says where there's no vision, the people perish. That means that if you don't have a goal, you don't set plans, you you don't have a passion, you don't set plans for yourself, for your future. That means you're just gonna drift. And you're gonna drift and drift and drift. And you're not gonna have any plan, okay? And that's why you need information. You need to have information so you can learn how to get at things and how, how to attack things, okay? So I'm gonna show you in this video how I get all the information that I need to accomplish, to finish these vehicles and to get them done. But for the new year, some of you guys have plans. Some of you guys set goals. Whether it's your physical health, uh, the way you think, the negativity that you're pondering on all the time. You know, some of you guys are pessimistic, man. Some of you are optimists, all right? But get rid of that negativity in 2016. It's, uh, it does nothing for you, absolutely nothing for you. So get rid of that junk, because it's not healthy for you anyway. Be a beast in 2016. All right, roll hard and don't ever give up. Don't back down. All right, let's roll, man. Let's do this big. Let's go big on it, man. Let's attack it. All right. Most of all, though, get closer to God, Jesus Christ. All right. Don't play games, man. He loves you. He died on the cross for you. He paid the cost. He paid the price for you, for your soul, so you don't have to perish and go to hell. All right. In this new year, 2016. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody even move you. Don't let nobody break you. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't even let nobody slow you down. All right? Haters will always be there. There's going to be haters on this post. Why? Because I'm putting information out there that's going to drive them crazy. Because some people pay hundreds of dollars for this information. All right? I'm showing you how to get it for free. But a hater's going to be a hater. A hater's going to hate. What do they say? Haters going to hate. All right, so be it. Let's keep moving, all right? So in 2016, let's get out there and let's go smash on it. A message to the haters. All you're doing is you're just pumping me up. You know what I'm saying? That's all that does to me. If somebody tells me I can't do something, it just sets me on fire, man. It makes me get more aggressive and then makes me attack even more. All right, so that's all you're doing. It's not even facing me. It doesn't move me, man. You can't. I don't allow any pessimism to distort the way I think anymore, all right? I used to be like that back in the days, man, all that negativity and stuff you guys are shooting out there, all that all that fuel you're adding to the fire, 
all that negativity and that haterism that you add to the fire, it don't work over here, man. Not on this page, not on this channel. All right, so either get with the program and get what's going down, or just get out the way because I'm going to just plow right over you. All right? Ain't nothing stopping this. Let's go get this. Right there. See that big dome building right there? That's where the library's at. That's where we're headed. Okay, downtown San Diego Library. Okay, look, I'm at the library right now, all right? This is the downtown San Diego Library, and I'm gonna show you how I access information. Sorry about the blurry screen, this is my phone, and my camera broke. So, watch this, San Diego Public Library. Search catalog, no, homepage. So let's go to the homepage, watch this. Take the survey. I'm gonna go to e-collection. So what I do is I go to e-collection. So I'll click that. Computers are slow right now, big time. So e-collection. Then, come on, man. Okay, there we go. Then I go to articles and databases. Click that. Then come down to here, science and do it yourself. Click that right there. Look at that. Mitchell Pro on demand. That info right there, you're talking like 300 bucks a month for that thing. And sometimes more, depends on what you get. Okay, Mitchell on demand, click it. Okay, now here it is right here. Pro demand. Right there. That's what we're after. Look at that. Sorry about the blurriness. Now I go here, right here, log in. And watch. There it is right there. That is the Mitchell Pro Demand right there. Kind of hard to focus. Okay. Pro Demand. there all this right here so what I'm looking for now is I'm looking for how to adjust the timing on a 2001 Civic because you can't find that information in a Haynes manual so now I'll come over here to search 2001 Honda Civic sorry about the blurriness Honda Civic DX Let's call that good. So you come over here, but use this vehicle. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making this video. I'm also getting the schematics for this specific car. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at these schematics on the video when I get home. I study them thoroughly and just go through this whole system based on everything that I need to see and look at to help me with my diagnostics. And this is extremely powerful. Uh, I don't know if you guys are gonna have this where you guys live at, but uh, man, you gotta hunt this information down. Your library is gonna have some kind of technical information. You just gotta get out there and find it. And watch this. All you gotta do is click on this and it brings up the whole deal right there. Amazing, huh? One full shot of everything we're looking for. So click back and just scroll down like this. As soon as I'm done with all this, getting it on the phone, then I'll go back, exit out of that, and then you can just go here. You can just pinpoint anything you need to know. Components, DTCs, diagnostic trouble codes, symptoms, lookups, man, powerful information. Okay, engine timing belt, this is what I'm after right here. Timing belt. Okay, got that up there. Okay, go over here. What do I want here, removal? No, I don't want to know the removal. I want to go up here. Procedures, placement, removal, 
respect you. Okay? Just how to respect the timing belt. I don't need to know that. Okay? I'm looking for timing stuff. Okay? Looking for the degrees. And also how to adjust the timing. Well, we said it. You can't adjust the timing on this car because it's controlled by the PCM. So I just want to double check on this vehicle and look for any information that can help me out. Okay, I also want this information right here, ECM, PCM, auto learn procedure. Okay, so click on that. Then it gives me the entire procedure on how to relearn the computer. And that is just insane information right there. But we are diagnosing a car that has late ignition timing. So, and we are at the library, public library. Look at that. Getting this information for free. All this information I just showed you here on Mitchell Pro Demand, that was nothing. That's barely scratching the surface, man. I'm not playing. This, this, this is just powerful information. It's insane, man. There's so much more you can do. I'll get into more detail on that later on in a different video, but I just wanted to show you guys real quick what I do to uh, get information, how I obtain all the information that I get. So, this is just a start. For those of you who are mechanics, this is powerful stuff, man. Get it. Don't hate on it. Just get it. Understand what I just showed you guys and just get it. important information right here this is a relearn process a procedure because this will affect the performance of any car and you need to know why and how you need to deal with this relearning process they even have recall information check that out go over here figure out try to figure out what's going on right here you have a lot of issues with the airbags with these hondas okay that's what that's saying right there let's click this one up here Click on a recall and it tells you what the issue is and that it's covered. Good information right there. Okay, and that's it. San Diego Library, Mitchell Pro Demand. At the library for free. Crazy, huh? Just insane stuff here. Log in, bam, you're in right there. Hit search right away, boom, right there. Put the number, put the year of your car, and just get at it. Check this out. Books. Books and books and books. Automotive books. You got Motor, Chilton, National Service Data. Insane stuff. More over here. Look at that. Chilton. You got Ford books, everything. This is nothing but books on automotive repair. Okay? This is way better than Haynes right here. But that's what you do. Go and seek it out. Alright? You just go get it. This is where I started, man. Not at this library, but many other libraries. I go I go to I used to go to different libraries. Some of you guys in the shop are familiar with these. So these, are, these are what we used to have in the shops. Insane information right there. Look at that. All this for free. Okay. That's just crazy info right there, ain't it? Huh. We got a large majority of Chilton. And some motor, you know, for those of you who know about cars, those are the main ones. Motor and Mitchell. Okay, and Chilton. So, that's it, man. That's how it started. And this is how I still get information. But not as much anymore. And now I get it online. Okay, but I still come here every once in a while. But most of the time, I get it online, on the internet. Okay, and like I just showed you. All right, let's go attack this car now. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm on another library's webpage, okay? This is a whole different car, automotive, car tech information here. This is not the Mitchell Pro on demand. This is different, okay? This one I can access at home. 
but the one I just showed you, you can only access the Mitchell on demand, the pro demand, at the library. Anyways, I have a car with the no star condition as well, and I'm getting the schematics. You cannot get these kind of schematics from this manual right here, okay? As most of you know, this is your regular backyard mechanic manual, the Haynes repair manual. But what I'm showing you here, this is way more detailed stuff, okay? Sometimes you got to go a little more in depth with uh, your diagnostics, okay? And you're not going to be able to go through this book here, this Haynes, and get everything you need all the time, all right? Because this is, has limited information, okay? I can pull up the drive cycles for a vehicle on this, uh, this alone here. What I'm doing today is I just got out a few sheets of schematics. I'm going to go back out and um, diagnose this car. But as for this video, I just want to show you how powerful the Internet is, how much information you can get. Okay, so now let me go back to uh, this library deal here. The resources are out there, man. You don't have any excuse as to why you can't find information. It's out there and it's free absolutely free yeah it blew me away too when I first found out about this stuff this is actually not the system that we used to use but when I was in school in 1991 we actually used the Mitchell on the computer that kind of information is information that only some repair shops had okay most of them have it now well some of it ha some of them have it today but now you have access to it and I'm showing you how right here I just showed you all those books, how to access it, okay? Go to your library in your neighborhood and go find out. Go look for this information and hunt it down, man. Be a hunter of information and of excellence, man. And just go get it and go attack it. So this is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this right here, okay? So I can start my diagnostics. So what I'll do is I'll hit print come over here and start to print right there and then I just wait wait for the printer to kick on and that's where I get my schematics at now here's the information I just got off the computer okay now I bring it outside and I gotta start my diagnostics okay but without this information you'll be stuck so that's why you need to get, that's why you need to learn how to extract information, okay? And what I'm showing you is for free, man. So take advantage of it, all right? You can't get this kind of detail from this book, from this Haynes manual. You hear me? Many of you know that, okay? Some of you do, some of you don't. But this gives you good information, but nothing like factory information. When you're dealing with Chilton, Motor, all those aftermarket uh, repair manual uh, publishers, man, the detail is just insane. Some of it's not factory, but man, the information that you can get is extremely valuable. Okay? Learn how to get it. Learn how to hunt it down. You need this information if you want to learn how to diagnose stuff. Okay? Plus, you'll get flow charts, just like the factory manuals do. So, information. This is the information age, man, and I'm showing you how to attack this. So, go get it. So what I want to do now is I want to use the contamination of this beach as an analogy for sin, for the sin in your life. You have a choice to make. You have been warned. Many people have told you, get away, walk away from sin. If you continue to walk in sin, you're going to destroy yourself. You're going to destroy your life. Yes, you have been told before this message. I know you have. You know about Jesus. A lot of you have heard about Jesus already. And you know where I'm going with this. But my point is this. If you allow sin to contaminate your life, and you allow it to consume you, you dip in it, you play in it, you dwell in it, you let it consume your life, it is going to destroy you. It is going to take you out. You will not defeat it. You will never overcome sin without the blood of Jesus Christ. There is no way you will overcome that without repenting and coming before Jesus Christ and giving your life to him. So you have a choice to get in the water, sin, or not. 
if you get into the water, you would definitely suffer the consequences of you dipping and diving and playing in the sin. The sin is going to take you out. It is going to wipe you out. It will defeat you. The sin you're playing with a lot of times is lust, envy, jealousy, bitterness, anger, anxiety, deception, lying, stealing, cheating. There's all kinds of sin. There's tons of sins that you can be involved with. But I guarantee you this, you will never ever overcome the sin on your own. You can only defeat that sin through the blood of Jesus Christ. And that's by repenting and allowing God to change your life and allowing God to restore your life. So you don't have to be overcome and overwhelmed by those sins. So my point is this, you got two choices. You're either gonna play and sin, you're gonna dip in the water and play in it, or you're gonna stay outside the water. There's always gonna be people in the sin. There's always gonna be people playing around with sin, being consumed by it. You can't stop that. Although the lifeguards are warning you, although the Christians are warning you, like this guy, the lifeguard, you're always, God always sends warning before the consequences, always. He will always send warning. If you don't heed the warning, you are going to get handled and dismantled by the devil. He's going to take you out because his job is to kill, steal, and destroy. That's it. That's all he's about. You will never negotiate with the devil. You will never bargain with the devil and win. Straight up. So if you want to stay in that lifestyle you're living and live a contaminated life, full of sin, which will keep you distant from God, it will prevent you from having strength and power to overcome that sin, that's on you, man. But if you don't, you can come out of that. You can pull out, you can overcome. And the way you do that is by repenting. Repenting means to change your mind. You're telling God, I don't wanna deal with this no more, God. By telling God, I don't want this anymore, God. I'm done with this, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of living this lifestyle. I'm sick of living in sin. I'm sick of living in bondage and hooked on what I'm hooked on. It doesn't matter what it is, anything. You come to Christ with a sincere heart and you repent sincerely, God will free you, man. Doesn't necessarily mean that everything's gonna go nice and dandy and well, but you will be able to deal with life in a stronger manner. God will build you up, edify you and strengthen you and show you how to overcome. And don't forget, with God, all things are possible. You can overcome. The Bible says you are more than a conqueror to those who love Christ. Don't ever forget that. Jesus Christ loves you. He died on the cross for you. And don't ever forget that. He loves you, man. Another thing about the Bible is you hear Jesus say a lot, take heed. That means warning. Listen to this right here, what I'm about to tell you. You listen to the whole Bible, but when you hear verily, verily, or take heed, I mean warning. Those people right there, they've been warned. Yep, the lifeguards have been telling everybody, and plus they posted signs everywhere. If somebody tells you about the gospel of Jesus Christ, that's your warning. Don't forget that. But if you continue to play in the water, that's on you. Your choice, you got free will. Jesus wants to restore your life. Take the pain away. Yes, he'll wipe the pain away. Yes, the addiction, anything. It doesn't matter what it is. Cocaine, crystal, pills, man. The molly, any kind of drug. It does not matter. Jesus Christ will free you from that. To all the soldiers that know Christ, don't you stop. If you're lukewarm, get out of that. You know what God says about that. He said, I will spew you out of my mouth. Quit playing games with God, because he is not playing. Especially for you lukewarm Christians. You know what I'm talking about. In the name of Jesus Christ, stay solid, committed, bold, firm, and fearless. In his mighty, holy name, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Keep on smashing on it. Go get it.